so i'm speaking about my degree and this is a review of my education or my certificate of degree in india and uh, just to make it clear so here are things which saved me and if i didn't have these things i guess i would come out of india very useless than how i came here first thing is that i had a good background comparatively to biomedical engineering which i came to do i did electronic engineering in diploma and then doing biomedical engineering was just like doing electronic engineering which is applied in medicine so i kind of had a knowledge of the only thing which was there was just to understand that maybe a city scanner use this and this principle to come out with this result which was kind of easy for me second thing which saved me for me to have at listen enough knowledge was that i also tried by myself even if you might not be at school every day at least try to read online or get a try to catch up every time and i think this everywhere they do like school doesn't teach you everything you have to do other things by yourself and the last thing is money trust me like when it comes to private universities if you have money if you paid enough your fees on time you have less trouble without these things i don't think my certificates would come out or i could finish even this degree or i could have a little knowledge of what i have now but then the things which went wrong which made my education being worst of time here in india first of all i went in an area which was not my interest and honestly it was my father who dragged me into this since he's in the field of health he wanted me since i did engineering to go in an engineering which will go in his field of health and it's not a bad thing it could bring it there is a high demand of biomedical engineering engineers in my country but i don't think that's the demand which i had in me second thing is that even after still studying i'm still that average guy comparatively to the guy who could study in my country the only difference is is that i kind of got my hands on a lot of equipment comparatively to the guy who could study in my country and the other thing which went wrong is that i used a lot of money just on school which apparently i can't find out that i the benefits of me being in india came more outside of school than just being in school as a result at the end of the day i finished went back tried a job for a few times didn't feel it working and decided to start something which i think could bring at least something much better than just being a biomedical engineer and then i found out that there are a lot of techniques or biomedical engineers or just electronicians who work in different hospitals who have some issues and my idea was trying to create something which could pull them together try to give them works easily and train them to become way better and at least the cool thing with that is that i can do it remotely and that's what i'm doing now and also doing other jobs in media or videos and other stuff which you can do remotely because when it's come to biomedical engineering definitely it wasn't my thing and uh at the end of the day india is not a bad place to study the studies can be cheap but at least on a good quality especially when it's come to practice it can be cheap and we can access a good quality which you can highly recommend also to try when for my case it didn't work because i was not in the area of the interest which i had if you are interested also please come to india and try maybe it would be your good luck thanks so much for being here catch you next time